Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got another incredible recipe for you, part of the Diwali series today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make some amazing, delicious, crispy, crunchy masala papri. If you don't know what masala papri is, masala papri is basically an Indian snack that's really crispy and crunchy. It can be made with all-purpose flour on the basin and it's really flavorful because it's got a lot of different spices from ajwain to cumin seeds to salt to chili powder so it's got a lot of different things which makes these masala papri really flavorful this masala papri is such a perfect recipe for diwali because it's so quick and easy and requires no advanced preparation and you can enjoy this with your family and friends during this festive diwali these masala papri are not only crispy and crunchy but they're very flavorful as well the spices that we've added have bringing these papri to a whole new level and give them an incredible flavor if you don't like the flavor of these spices, you can reduce them and just make some regular papri. But I would not recommend you to reduce them as the spices give the papri a whole new experience and you'll enjoy the burst of flavor in your mouth. This is such a perfect kid-friendly recipe as well. You can just reduce the amount of chili you use in this recipe and make it for your kids as well. And I'm sure they're gonna enjoy it as well. Not many people like eating sweets during Diwali and are very health conscious. This is such a perfect savory recipe that you can indulge in during this Diwali. So anyone who prefers savory or sweet, I guess this is a perfect recipe for you to indulge in during this Diwali. And most importantly, this recipe is also vegan, which means that anyone and everyone can make this at home. So without further ado, come on, let's get on with this masala puffy recipe. Click the link in the description box for a full list of ingredients you require to make this recipe. Into a bowl, you want to add in your all-purpose flour, cumin seeds, caram seeds, garam masala, red chili powder, turmeric, soda and salt. Now mix everything up with the help of a spoon. Once everything is well incorporated, create a well in the center of the bowl and add in your oil. Now using your hands, mix everything up together. You want your dough to be slightly crumbly. Once your oil has been mixed, your dough will look extremely crumbly just like this. Next, you want to add in your water and using your hands, you want to bind everything up together. You want to add your water a spoonful at a time as you don't want your dough to be too dry or too soft. You want to make sure your dough is really soft. If your dough is going to be too dry or hard, it's going to be a nightmare for you to roll it out. So please make sure you add in enough water. Once your dough has come together and is soft, now cover it with a napkin and let it rest for 5 minutes. Once your dough has rested, now it's time to split it up. You want to begin by halving the dough into two equal portions. And then split each half into three equal portions. You should end up with six equal sized dough balls. Next, using a rolling pin, you want to roll out your dough to about 1 to 1.5 mm thickness. You want it to look exactly like a chapati or a tortilla. You can dip the rolled dough into the flour halfway through to help you roll it out. Once you're done, this is exactly how it's going to look like. Now repeat the same steps for all the remaining dough balls. Here's a quick close-up on how your papri should look like once you've rolled the dough out. Next, using a knife, you want to prick the rolled out papri dough. This will ensure that your papri doesn't burst when you fry them. Next, you want to cut your papri into long vertical strips. This is how it's going to look like. Alternatively, you can also cut your papri into triangular shapes. Once you're done, come on, let's fry these masala papri. Once your oil has heated up, now put a pinch of the dough into the oil to check if it's hot enough. 
Once you notice the bubbles, you know your oil is ready for your papris. Now deep fry all the papris over the low flame until they're crisp and golden brown. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan, but make sure to add in sufficient because they're not going to stick with each other either. You want to make sure your flame is not too high either as your papri will brown too quickly and it will be undercooked from the inside. Make sure you flip them at regular intervals so they cook evenly and they have the same color throughout. Once your papris are done, they're going to look exactly like this. Take it off the flame and place it over a kitchen towel to absorb any excess oil. Now repeat the same step for all the remaining papris left. Once you've finished deep frying your papris, let them cool for about 2-3 to three minutes before serving them. You can enjoy them warm or at room temperature on its own or with a cup of masala chai. Don't forget to store them in an airtight container so you can enjoy them whenever you want. Don't these look absolutely delicious? I promise you it's one of my easiest Diwali recipes and you're going to have a bomb if you try this out. And I'm sure you're absolutely going to love it as well. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I shall see you again with another exciting recipe. Not one, not two, maybe three Diwali recipes in the next few days. So see you then. Bye.